everybody, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. This is not a Second Life video and it's not a big comeback video or anything like that. Uh, if you read the title of the video, you already know what it is. But I do want to take a moment just to say thank you to those of you who have checked in on me over the past oh, year and a half, I guess. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, you guys are really cool and I really do appreciate it. Uh, but even though this is not a big comeback video, and I do plan on making one of those at some point when I get back into Second Life, but I am okay, I am fine, everything is going really well. So thank you to those of you who have checked on me, and uh, yeah, just <laughs> thank you. So in my hiatus from Second Life, I started playing The Sims 4. Now I was a Sims 4 player anyway, but I didn't play it very often because, quite honestly, I find The Sims 4 quite boring. And I discovered that the way to make The Sims 4 less boring, without the use of a billion different mods, is to give The Sims randomized traits. And we discovered this because in the past, oh, I guess month or so, two months, I've been doing a series for my friends, uh, kind of like The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, a dating type show where one sim is in the house and six contestants try to win their heart and it was really a lot of fun for me it kind of made me remember how much i love putting together stories and photos especially photos and sets and all of that um so it was really a good time i put together a lot of photos for the series because of course that's what people wanted to see and I did a lot of group shots while I was doing that. I would either do a couple shot like this where they look really cute and everything, or I would do a group shot where a bunch of them are all together. And it was, it was really fun. And somebody asked me, hey, how are you actually doing this? Because I can't get my Sims to get together in a cute place like this. And there's a very, very easy way to do this. Over here um, on Sims 4 Studio, it's Andrew's Studio. So this is this is the page you'll need to go to, and hopefully you see the link up there. But I will be putting the link in the description box, of course. Now Andrew made a studio. He made a pose player, and you'll need to download a few things to get this to work. If you've ever put anything into the Sims 4, you already know you're just going to open up your Sims 4 folder and you'll put it in your mods folder. Um, but there's, you can find that information here. So you're going to need the pose player, which you can download, um, and then scroll down to find the teleport player as well. The teleport player looks like a, a knight, a suit of armor. You're going to need both of those things to get your poses to work. And then, of course, you'll need poses, and you can find those uh, pretty much anywhere on the internet. <laughs> if you just do a Google search for Sims 4 poses, you'll find a bunch. The Sims resource has a whole bunch of them that are just right there, and just type in group pose, or couples pose, or modeling pose, or whatever kind of pose you want, and you'll be able to download a whole bunch of poses. I do not make poses for The Sims 4 because that takes Blender and I don't want to learn Blender, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can download them somewhere else. And then to actually use the poses, it's pretty simple, but there is a little bit of finessing that you have to do for some of it, and it is not like posing in Second Life at all. It is... A little bit more I don't want to say difficult but it's not as easy because in Second Life when you pose somebody on a pose stand you can move the pose ball around while they're still on it and everything you can't do that here so you have to be very you have to know where to put the things so we're gonna show you how to do this with our this is our latest couple Yvette and Ray uh, Yvette was the last bachelorette and Ray is the one who won her heart. They're a very cute couple. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is get your Sims into position. So what you'll do is go into the Buy menu and you will look up Teleport. Let's see. 
and you'll find the sim teleporter destination. It's free, no problems. So because we have two sims and we're going to want to put both of them together in the pose, you will you can put it anywhere that you want. Make sure though that wherever you want the photo to be, that's where you're putting the thing because you won't be able to move it again. If you put them in the pose and you're like, oh, that's really not quite where I wanted to do the photo, uh, you're, you're gonna have to <laughs> go through the whole process again. So make sure you put it where you wanna be. So we'll just put it here and I'm gonna put one down and then I'm not gonna move my mouse and I'm gonna put another one down right on top of it. And you won't be able to see that there's two there, but kind of listen for a little thunk sound. You can't really hear it on my video because my sounds are down, but you'll just listen for that. And then go out and go back into live mode. Or live mode. Is it live mode or live mode? <laughs> I don't really know. And once you have that, right click and you see there's summon a sim and teleport a sim. Summon a sim means that you're going to be able to get anybody who's in your sim world to come over. See, we have so many people in the sim world. You can get any of them to come over. It doesn't matter where they are in the world. Just know that once they're there, then you have to tell them to leave. But teleport a sim is whoever is on the property at the time. So we're going to teleport Ray. And then, as you can see, the other suit of armor is right there. So we're going to grab that again. We're going to teleport Yvette. And now it looks crazy. Then you're going to left click on one of them. And you can see here that we have Pose by Pack or Pose by Name. If you have the Pose player installed, which you should, this is the these are the options that you're going to have. I always do Pose by Pack because I'm not going to remember the name of all the poses that I have. I'm just, I'm not. So pose by pack and you'll get all of this. Now, this is really important. Always make sure that you look and see who it is you're posing right there because you don't want to, you don't have to switch in between sims. Like you don't have to switch who is active um, to do this, but just make sure you've got whoever's there. And then as you can see, I've got a ton of poses downloaded because during my whole uh, Sims 4 bachelor bachelorette thing, I did a lot of photos. So let's find, uh, let's find something cute. We'll do a couple selfies here. And then you can see here, not all of them are labeled very well, <laughs> but uh, these ones are. So we're going to go with this one. This is one, pose one for the woman. So we'll do that. You won't see it yet. You won't see her posing yet. Uh, because I have it paused, when I unpause it, she'll click into place. So as you can see there, I'm going to pause it again just because I don't want anybody to walk away. I do have my, in my game options, I have full anatomy off which I suggest if you are doing these kinds of photos, turn that off so they don't decide, oh, I'm gonna go play on the computer right now. So we've got her in position. So we'll click on Ray and we'll pose by pack. And we see that we have Ray here. We'll go back to the couple selfies. And we'll find the pose that goes with hers. This one, first pose, second, man. Do that. Close out of there. Play. And there we go. I don't know why this seems weird. Why does this seem weird? <laughs> this seems weird. It seems like she should be in his position. Don't you think? It seems that way to me. I don't know. It seems like it should be. So if this happens and you decide, oh, I don't really like the Sims in this position, um, 
you can either start completely over again or you can just click on them and let's go back to a couple selfies and I guess it is okay I guess that actually is the right one because she is in that position but I don't really like it I want it to be different so I'm gonna click on that one for her and then I'm gonna click on the other one for him let's see where is it there we go click on that for them and then we'll do that again and then you can go to the you can either go in here and you can click to stop there and you see she moved there oh that looks awful <laughs> or you can click on them uh, it's a left click and do a stop posing and there he moved in and I just find that that looks a lot cuter I don't know I like it that way a little bit better but then again her uh, I don't know <laughs> this is the problem with the Sims posing is you can't really adjust a lot the way that you can in Second Life and that's just the way it is um, if I decide I don't like this pose at all, if I'm just really not into that, we'll go, we'll find something else, you know, we'll go a walk with you. Now, as you see here, no photos. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. So with Ray, again, he's right there. We'll do that. And then we'll click on Yvette. And we'll do that. You kind of have to remember which poses you're using and all of that too, otherwise it just doesn't work. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Look at that. Oh, hi. <laughs> and then you can take your photo. And taking photos is very simple in The Sims. Um, all you have to do really is click uh, C on your keyboard. And there you go. Now you have a photo. And in your Sims 4 folder, you have a folder that says screenshots and it'll bring up all of your screenshots. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Now there are not a lot of angles, unfortunately, with the uh, Sims 4 camera. You can kind of go like that and move it around a little bit. But if you go up at the top here to the camera controls, and click on the Sims 3 camera, you can go up and down and just kind of finesse it a little bit more. Like that. And there we go. We've got Yvette, we've got Ray, we've got a super cute photo. And that's how you do that. Now, if you decide you wanted to do a group pose or whatever, just start all over again. Throw down three, four, five, six however many pose stands that you need or teleport stands I should say they're not really pose stands and yeah just have a lot of fun with it you can make a lot of really really super cute pictures and yeah <laughs> I don't really have much more to say than that but that is how I do group photos in The Sims 4. If you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up I don't I don't really know why you would this is really terrible but for my first video back in like a year and a half, you get what you get. <laughs> I will be doing a Second Life video, hopefully very soon. I have plans on coming back and redoing my entire region very soon. And I will talk about everything that's been going on and all of that stuff. So hey, subscribe if you want to stick around for that. And if not, then, you know, hey, thanks for at least watching this one, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!